Thank you so much for doing this interview with me. First, I have to ask you, how does it feel having a film at the Toronto International Film Festival, something that has grown over the years and is now known around the world as one of the best festivals anywhere on the planet? I'm so excited to be here. This is my first feature. I had a short in the festival in 2013, and this is the feature version of that. So this is amazing. I'm really excited. What is amazing, too, is uh, your film. Um, and it's a timely film on what's been going on with the uh, Me Too movement. Uh, talk a little bit what this film is about, because this is something very powerful. So the film follows two teenage best friends. They want to leave their small town, and the night that they're celebrating, one of them is violated by their ex-boyfriend, and that starts sets off a uh, butterfly effect of consequences that threatens their chance of leaving and also their friendship. But it really is about women seeking freedom under a patriarchy. It's about two girls fighting misogyny to get to freedom and to survive. What's, where did you come up with the idea behind this film? This film came from a lot of different inspiration. Like I said, it was based on a short film, but it really came from my own experiences as a, as a female and thinking about my place in the world and my freedom. I'm curious, when did you actually make the film? The, the feature we made, we shot last summer, and the short we shot in 2012. Did, were you thinking about, again, as I mentioned about the Me Too movement happening, did you think that you know, again, this is a timely thing, and also the fact that this can also help with the movement. It's opening up a lot of people's eyes. Yeah, I definitely, that was definitely a part of uh, my, when I was writing, although a lot of it happened after I had penned the script. But patriarchal oppression is something I've always been interested in, but I thought it's such a huge topic, I had to ground it in really real characters and real emotion. The actresses in this, I, I'm, I'm curious, because I can't wait to see this film. Um, I mean, you know, it must have been emotional for them to play these roles and sometimes, who knows, my feeling would be for something like this, they'd have to sometimes walk off the set just to gather themselves because again, this is such a powerful film. Yeah, for the actors took on a lot. It was a lot. It was their first feature. So they I really put them to the test and but I was always there to support them on set. I think that's a good thing about having a female collaboration is we understand the situations that we've been put through in real life and we're there for each other even if we're performing it as art. Um, but it, it was a little tough but they did a great job. Oh, I'm not surprised. Um, what do you hope that uh, viewers are going to get from this film? What do you hope that they get from this? Well, you know, I wrote this film first and foremost for women. I, I hope that they can see their experiences validated on screen, that they find empowerment through the characters, and that's what I want first and foremost. And just to make other people aware of, of the limitations that sort of patriarchy and misogyny has on us, even in a really small way. And also, too, um, and I want to throw this in very quickly because I think this is important too, this film just isn't a film for women. This is for everyone to watch. This is a film for everybody, and there's a lot of male characters in the film who, who are going through their own turmoil too, and I have great sympathy for them. It is a film for everybody, and um, yeah, I think everybody can relate to the universal themes in this. Absolutely. Thank you so much, and again, congratulations on your film. Thank you. Thank you.